Welcome and thank you for joining us for our second half hour of The Factor Uncensored. A longtime teacher for the Houston Independent School District is in hot water with the district leaders. Now, Larry McKenzie has been accused of threatening board members in a public meeting in June. He has since received a proposal for termination. For, I don't even know what that means. I propose. Well, anyway, termination from HISD Superintendent Mike Miles. Here's a moment he addressed the board. Now, I was taking a look at some of you people that are up there. Uh, realize this. You're safe at 4400 West 18th. You're safe here, but you're going to have to go around. And I looked up some of y'all, you know, and uh, please tell uh, Jeff Levitt I said hello. And Sir, all you're of not us permitted to make threats to the people on the board. Now, according to the letter from Superintendent Miles McKenzie was in violation of board policy. We reached out to HISD for response. HISD says they will not be providing any information due to the confidential nature of this personnel matter. Teacher Larry McKenzie joins us now here on the Factor Uncensored. Do you think you went too far? No, I didn't threaten him. And it would be different if but I... But when, and really quick, Larry, when you say we know where you live, you're not where you live, you're safe here. Now, you're safe here. I Can it be misconstrued uh, as of something course else? It, it, well, safe is free of mental, physical, or spiritual uh, risk. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, uh, maybe I could have used a, a better word. You're more comfortable at West 44, uh, 18. But... I'm in a whole different room. I'm in an overflow room. I'm more than 100 feet away from them. Mm -hmm. I've been coming to these meetings since 2005. And the whole thing is, is when you run for a position or you even apply for the board of managers, you have to expect to contact and be in correspondence with the people that you represent. And they had no email address. They had no telephone number. So what did I do? I Googled their name. Mm -hmm. So when I said, hey, tell Mr. Levitt I said hello. And for those who don't know who that is, who is that? Well, see, no one would have known who Mr. Levitt was if she hadn't said anything. Mm -hmm. Mr. Levitt is the husband of the board president. Got it, got it. Got okay, it. and then when I said the addresses, I didn't give the number. I gave the street names. I gave three street names. No one would know if I said, if you live off of 59 Highway, where? How far mm -hmm. is that? That's a lot, a lot of space. But it's, uh, it, it wasn't a threat, and by no means. But do you see how it could have come off as a threat for those who are looking to make sure they send a message? No, I understand that if, if you feel like you're not doing what you're supposed to do and you're not uh, living up to the expectations of the job that you've taken, mm -hmm. then you might feel threatened. But... It wasn't a threat. And like I said, I've been doing this since 2005. I would go and say, hey, I stay by OST and Scott. Guess what? That's a lot of area. Is it game change for this board? Have you done anything like that with previously elected, duly elected board members? Have you yes, had? Yes, yes, okay, so. yes. I mean, you can ask them. You've had Kathy Bluford Daniels on here. You've had uh, several of the board members, Jolanda Jones. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, I came on your show with Jolanda Jones. Mm -hmm. She called me, say, Larry, I need you to help me because I'm a community advocate. Mm -hmm. And if you have to, if you look at it, for everyone that's doing something or saying something about all the things that are affecting the children, it's not that many people. Where are the elected officials? Where are, uh, at the NRG thing two weeks ago, where you had all those people in there and someone could have caught COVID-19, no one is saying anything. They're mm -hmm. allowing Mike Miles to do what he wants, and he's trying to intimidate people. But why should I be intimidated by him when my expectations for the board of managers are the same expectations mm -hmm. I have for the board of trustees? Have you gone up against a juggernaut where it is a battle, a fight you cannot win. At least now, because they have the backing of the state, of the governor, they've been put in place to come here and do, as many people say, a specific job. You know what, you're right, you're right. And, and times I think of myself and I say, how would I have been on a plantation? Would I have just been beaten and stayed there or would I have run? Mm -hmm. I have to run. 
you know, and it, it seems like they pick the biggest and loudest voice. And since uh, Brother Monroe is no longer here, right, right, right. and those are his tactics, I'm not going to your house. I got kids that are waiting for me when I get home. <laughs> you got <laughs> stuff to do. Yeah, yeah, no. I know. And I tell all the security when I go to the meetings, I say, look, I'm not getting arrested. I'm not doing anything that's going to take me away from my family. Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to threaten them because they have family. And it was the reason why I gave, like, the name of the street. And if you watch the video, there's not a threat. And she felt threatened because I guess who I am. Now, looking at the future that you can see with what you have heard from the superintendent from the district, you've had a great career. And I say had, but you still have a mm -hmm. great career as an educator. They can stop you from working at HISD, but they can't stop you from educating children wherever you go. But are you saddened or possibly di disturbed that you could lose this position for speaking your mind? Well, in you know, the simple answer is yes. Because when they sent me the form, I was upset. I'm used to seeing the kids a certain time of year. I'm used to telling them the same old dad jokes, and, and they like, ah, Mr. McKenzie. But, uh, yeah, I'm sad and upset. But the thing is, is it's always a good time to tell the truth. If they ask you to apologize and say, we'll forget it if you apologize and, and won't say anything, not else, but that could be construed as a threat. What would, would you do that? I don't think they would even ask me that. I don't think Mr. Mike Miles would say anything like that. He approaches people differently. Uh, he's going with the intimidation thing. I, mm -hmm. I, I, don't, I don't know what's going on in his mind, but all the people around him are telling him stuff and he's not listening. They told him that in 2005 we did the NRG thing before. It didn't work. Mm -hmm. They told him about the same type of programs that he has in NES and NES aligned programs. They didn't work in HISD. But he's not listening. I understand he's been appointed to do this job, but he's not listening. So that lets you know that he's not here to benefit the children. All right, sir. Thank you for your time. Thank you and very thank much. And thank you for sharing your story here on The Fact. We appreciate your time.